Another day, another get rich quick scheme from the Duchess of Sussex herself, Meghan Markle. That's right. Instead of trying to channel Princess Diana, her deceased mother-in-law via her marriage through Prince Harry, she is now trying to channel Gwyneth Paltrow and Goop. Hi everyone, my name is Jacob Airy. Welcome to my vidcast, Studio Jake, where I talk about all things pop culture. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, if you want to support the channel, you can via my Locals page. The link is in the description. All right, so... <laughs> the royal rogues themselves, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they are starting a new, new venture after failing with their media company, with their book, with their, you know, we want privacy tour. After all of those failures, now Meghan Markle is launching a new, a new lifestyle brand where she will be peddling all kinds of snake oils, as well as other things. She returned to Instagram with her account where she released a commercial and it's like her trying to look all like she's into farming and she's folksy and does all this, but it was just nothing more than a marketing ad for her company, which has the title American Riviera Orchard. So this is according to the free press. Recently, while the entire world was wondering where the bleep is Kate Middleton, her sister-in-law, Meghan Markle, took to Instagram to remind us all where she still is in the business of selling herself. The self-exiled princess's new initiative is called American Riviera Orchard, which sounds like an address given by an immigrant to a taxi driver asking, me, asking to be taken to paradise. It isn't memorable. It's a word salad, but it's has that fragile quality of yearning, like over the rainbow, or is it benign, doctor? Trademark applications reveal that American Riviera Orchard plans to sell home goods like linens, cookbooks, and fruit preserves, but as with anything royal, there's a deeper message. I love the sarcasm dripping in this article. It's fantastic. So anyway, continuing on. The Instagram account associated with American Riviera Orchard is nine squares, stitched with this name in gold. It looks like a napkin, but looks... I don't know much about glossy women. I have never snuggled in a Hermes Avalon throw blanket camel or married a prince under a curse, but I have always believed that some women use beautiful things to express to the world a poise they do not feel. <laughs> what a great way to describe that. So, yes, Meghan Markle is launching her own lifestyle brand similar to how Gwyneth Paltrow has Goop, a much derided lifestyle brand that sells all kinds of weird things like eggs that women are supposed to do things with. I'll leave it at that, but it seems like now Meghan Markle is getting in on this little craze. <laughs> but anyway, go to um, thefp.com, so T-H-E-F-P.com to read this article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I want you to go and read the whole thing for yourself. But I think that's kind of funny that how this reporter was presenting that. And yes, that's exactly what this is. This is nothing more than Meghan Markle trying to do a get rich quick scheme. And it just reeks of insincerity and everything. I watched the trailer for this company and it's exactly what it sounds. It's nothing like what she always tries to present herself in, right? They live off in Montecino. They have this big mansion even here in the States and they blew their deal with Spotify, with Netflix and everything in between. They've burned bridges with the Royals. Apparently Prince Harry has tried to make amends with his father and brother, but they are not having it, especially how the how he treated them, which quite frankly, I don't really blame them at all. He was not kind to them. And I also would like to point out, even though this is really laughable and it's hilarious, I would just like to point out the timing of this. So I did refrain from commenting on the whole where is Princess K thing, because, you know, I know yet yeah, her team should not have released that very obvious Photoshop photo of her. I think that was really dumb of them. They really hand handled that in a in an amateur sort of way. However, I do hope Princess Kate recovers well. And if 
if there's a team Markle, team Kate, I'm team Kate all the way. Although I think, you know, in the 21st century, a monarchy is no longer needed. I'm a populist, so I'm always like, you know, the people should have the right to vote in a constitutional republic. And it's very sad, though, that Kate is going through this, and I wish her all the best. And I do think Meghan Markle did the wrong thing by releasing this. She was she literally used her sister-in-law's cancer diagnosis to launch this lifestyle brand. And while it's hilarious because you can just tell that this is just dripping with insincerity, it's still scummy that she used that timing when everyone is Googling the rogues and where is Harry to launch this. So, you know, that's my opinion. You're welcome to disagree. I don't care. But the timing of this is really, really bad. And I don't know who's advising Harry and Meghan. They may not be no one. They might not be able to afford anyone. But they are getting terrible advice. Or perhaps, honestly, though, Meghan Markle is such a narcissist. It's possible her advisors were telling her, hey, wait, don't do this. Wait a little bit. Wait till the dust settles with Princess Kate when all this is going on. But she didn't <laughs> and decided to launch it now. It's so ridiculous. The timing of this just looks really, really bad. And no surprise there, she doesn't want to run the company herself, right? She just wants to be the owner. She's actually trying to find a CEO to help run this goop knockoff. So this is according to Express. I try not to give the British media a lot of attention because they um, are terrible. They're, the European media is way worse than the American press by leaps and bounds, but I digress on that. I did want to, uh, but I wanted to highlight this. Meghan Markle has reportedly begun the interview process for the position of CEO at her latest lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. The brand's website debuted earlier this month, accompanied by a string of posts on Instagram. Details of what it will entail remain elusive on both platforms, leaving many fans speculating what the Duchess has planned. A source close to Megan revealed to the Daily Mail, Megan is interviewing candidates for the CEO role at the moment. Okay, so this is kind of weird because who would want to work for her? <laughs> I mean, let's think about that. According to reports that have been coming out for years now, whenever she was at Kensington Palace, whenever she, her, before her and Harry embarked on their We Want Privacy tour, before all that, there um, was reports that her staff was fleeing. They wanted nothing to do with her, that she was a narcissist, that she caused problems, that she was angry all the time, that she didn't want uh, things to go a certain way. And listen, when you, she's an American, and so yeah, she's going to come in with a little bit different vibe, obviously, than the British royals. But if I was, well, I should say, I'm married to a Mexican, and when I would go to her family's house, I didn't make demands of them. No, I don't want tortilla soup. I want a hamburger. I never made demands of that. I went and I was polite and I ate what was put in front of me and I did my best not to make a fool of myself, which is what you do when you're married. Meghan Markle wanted the palace to adhere to her posturing. And as much as I don't like the... um grandeur of royalty you know it's fine in fiction but in real life it doesn't make much sense as much as i don't like it i would still not if i was invited to the palace i would be polite i would follow their rules because i'm in their house the owner of the house has the right to set the rules and so when i go to england i'm not going to be that american jerk walking around you know laughing at things or laughing at their accents i'm going to be polite i'm going to be friendly i'm going to try to make friends because that is what you do that is what a kind good decent person does megan markle wanted them to cater to her she wanted the british people to cater to her and when they didn't her and harry threw a massive hissy fit over it and it is so ridiculous that they are still demanding special treatment after everything they went through and it's very scumbaggy of them to launch this using kate middleton's health as a springboard 
absolutely ridiculous, absolutely foolish, and I don't think this is going to last well. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the launch will take off and Meghan Markle will find some sort of way to market it and she'll find lots of customers. Maybe she will find a good CEO who can run the company, but I just doubt it. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any